<sighs> a long day of work. I feel like a nice cold bee. Quench my thirst. What is this? Spot my beer! Hi, my name is Ben, I'm from Dad Shop, and I'm gonna show you how to put together the Aussie Grog puzzle set, which is very popular for a lot of beer drinkers. Firstly, we've got everything open up. We'll have three pieces to begin with. One main piece, which is the base, the top, and this little, little key looking thing. It's one piece, it's all stuck together. Obviously, you need to put your cans in. First, you can use the standard can size, or you can use the larger can sizes because it's quite flexible. As in, the puzzle is quite flexible for a shorter or long can. Uh, there's actually a little trick to the to tie a knot at the end here to tighten up the top piece. But I'll show you. Let's just set it up and let me show what I mean. So, firstly, let's get this piece and put it through the top like that. And this little key bit goes, goes through the middle. Now, as I mentioned before, the little knot at the end needs to be tightened, or it will be too loose. So let's say it's tightened up to here. As you can see, once that's tightened, it stops this bit from coming out. So that's the whole point to the puzzle. Let's go ahead and tie the knot at the back. Tied on the outside just for this video. As you can see, it's secured. So let's uh, begin putting together the puzzle. Firstly, this funny looking piece, which is connected together, should come like this the ball, it's big ball, and a small ball. The big ball doesn't fit through the mill, only the small one does. Before you, before you start, you need to set up the puzzle. So first we're going to take this bit and slide it through the hole. Like so. Might be a bit stiff because of the little string, but you just got to put it in. Once you've done that, just tug on it a little bit so it's even and we're ready to go. So the first step is to put that this thing through the hole and then slide the whole thing through, like so. Now you'll see that this ball should be on this side of the puzzle before you begin sliding it through first, like that. As you slide it through, once you slide it through, you can actually pull the whole thing out. You gotta you might have to wiggle it a little bit, then it will come out. There you go. Now once it's come out, you need to put pull it to the side, to the right side, and get the little ball again, just pop it in like that. And you got to put it through the hole again, just like that. When you got about halfway, it should look like that. It should be dangling with this little piece at the end, which you can now put through here, like so. And that's pretty much how you set the whole thing up. Now, the next person who wants to unsolve this can't pull it through. So that's the whole point to this puzzle to solve this bit. Now I'll show, you how to, I'll show you how to solve this bit which is exactly the same as putting it together. Now keep in mind there's more than one way to solve this but this is the easiest way to do it. Now I'm just going to show you in reverse. First thing to do is get the little rectangle bit put through and then slide the whole thing back out. Make sure you slide the ball out, just like that. As you can see that. Then, put it back through the hole. And then, slide the small ball back through the hole. Like so. And then slide everything back out. 
again, don't be afraid that there's a little pressure when you're trying to pull it in now because, as I said, the string does create some tension as you're pulling it out. That's pretty much it. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs>